and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. My wish is that G5 would find a consistent release schedule. Oh, man. Uh, bad news, Silver. I don't think that's going to happen. Fooey! Also joining us today is Jacob. Hey, everybody. How are you doing, man? Oh, fine. Lonely lately. Friends oh, no. Are gone again. Friends are gone again uh, to Croatia to renovate the new summer house. So, yeah, I'm basically alone with the cat again. Oh, no. You're going to be a crazy cat man. <laughs> nah, I'm not that uh, off yet. Yet, he says. Give it time. <laughs> Who says that, by the way? I forgot. Uh, that was Pinky, uh, yeah, Pinky to Twilight. Mm-hmm. All right, then. So, anywho, in today's episode review, we are going to review Winter Wish Day. Winter Wish Day is a winter holiday special that serves as Chapter 3 for My Little Pony, Make Your Mark. It was released on Netflix on November 21st, 2022. Uh, so, yeah, um... Before we start, first impressions are in order. And Silver, what do you think? Ah, to be honest, I found this to be a bit of a snooze fest. Uh, there's very little conflict throughout this. And really, it, a lot of folks, a lot of holiday programs that I see do tone down the conflict for just, oh, this is sweet. There's some really good songs in it. But by and large, if you're looking for any kind of story to further flesh out the characters, I don't think this is it. Mm, I see, I see. But I, I can understand uh, the <coughs> toning down of the, what you call this, action or conflict because, hey, it's a holiday special. Everybody should have uh, have a break <coughs> and whatnot. But uh, I, I do understand why you feel that way because, if I'm not mistaken, ponies in general doesn't really have that, how do I put this, um doesn't really have that much conflict in their shows. Doesn't have that overarching roller coaster where uh, things are cool suddenly. Oh no, quick chrysalis and a yay wedding. Well, I mean, the, the G4 holiday special had Killer Pudding that is... and Twilight freak it, freaking out. That, that is true. All right, <laughs> redacted then. So, yeah, well, we'll... so I mean, I, I just feel like this is a step down in that regard. Mm, well, they do have their conflict, but uh, we, we, we'll reach when we reach there, we'll reach there. Jacob, what about you? Well, uh, it's a bit awkward because I sort of uh, went to have a second-hand look at this, uh, this uh, special because, well, I don't really own Netflix. Ah. Yeah. So, well, thank- yeah, I think I'm pretty much on on Silver's page with that one. I mean, but on the whole part of uh, toning down the conflict, because it's hard, they will, it, there still has to be some sort of conflict that's relevant to, well, the whole thing. And as we said, the G4 holiday special is better in that regard. There's I mean, not really much to go with this one, honestly. Well, technically, there is a bit of conflict now that I remember from uh, conflict of time to conflict of weather and so on but I- I'm guessing that's not the real conflict that you guys are talking about but yes um, uh, that's besides the point well it's the, those are those are conflicts that are certainly present but they're not there's not a real sense of a ticking clock or that they are that we're running out of time oh my gosh really it's it's more to put it in a word, there are the, minor, minor inconveniences. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I understand, but the devil in me says not really because it's kind of, they do have that conflict because, <clears throat> uh, because, uh, whew, uh, who need, uh, Sunny, Sunny has, uh, has the need to show her tradition, blah 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 blah. <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, but but that's besides the point. By the way, the point. Uh, as for me, hey, this is serverable. I I. 
How do I put this? Uh, it was 45 minutes of okay. It was just okay. It it had some jokes. I I had some things that I could riff on, but it was just okay. It wasn't too. It, how do I? Say? It wasn't insulting. It wasn't. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, besides the word for insulting, I, I, I don't remember. But yeah, it, it wasn't too bad. It was just okay. Safe, might some might say. Mm. <clears throat> but anywho, uh, if you guys at home have not watched this yet, pause here and go do so. So anyway, shall we get into it, guys? Okay. I don't see. Alrighty then. So we start off the episode. Give a second to open up the episode as we watch this at the same time. So we start off the episode with, well, uh, our ponies decorating, having a song, decorating Maritime Bay. Uh, we, we see some of the awesomeness of the Earth ponies doing their magics and so on. Uh, we, we see Earth ponies doing Earth magic. Uh, sorry, Earth Pony Magic, and so on. Uh, we see Hitch heading back to the lighthouse, I, where I'm guessing he lives now. Hey, you know, that's always that's getting a bit confused. Everyone, everything seems seems to present that he is living in the sheriff's office. So I'm like, is that how he paid off his mortgage? He he li he lives where he works. Uh, Saves on time, I guess. Don't Ghostbusters live in the workplace? Uh, the firehouse, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I do, but th that whole paid-off mortgage celebration, I mean, I was like, way to build equity, Hitch. Now I find out he just sort of cheated the system. Uh, we, we don't really know. <laughs> you know what? Um, if, if you guys catch up with... All of the G5 content, uh, do let us know if L Hitch lives in a proper home or lives in the sheriff's office or in the lighthouse. I'm very curious. <clears throat> but anywho, as we carry on, we see Sunny, uh, Sunny Stars, Star Scout. Mm, Sunny, yeah, wow, okay. Yep. Uh, we, we see Sunny uh, preparing some cookies for the holidays and so on. And yeah, it's kind of cool. And she, uh, this bothers me a bit. This this bothers me a bit because she's singing the Christmas, um, uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas song, but it's in pony form. But it's, uh, uh, am I being too nitpicky, Silver? No, I don't think you are. I actually was a bit frustrated with it as well. I consider it the weakest of the songs in this special because it is, well, it's just borrowing the melody and changing a few lyrics. And if your name isn't Weird Al, <laughs> uh, you're probably not going to impress me with that. But here's the thing. The, the song has been used in the Christmas album before. So it's... <sighs> well, the... That part I missed out on. Yeah, I mean, the Christmas album is the Christmas album. So, uh, maybe, ah, oh, man. It feels like they're just... Um, how hard do I put this? I understand why they're using it. Because it's a familiar tune and the ponies never say Christmas or so whatsoever. So, uh, okay, uh, it's understandable if they want to portray or relate the holiday to the people on Netflix watching this or the children so that's very understandable but at the same time too uh, you have established canonical content uh, sorry you, you have established uh, a canonical timeline or uh, settings where uh, this is not how to put this um, what's this uh, Merry Wishmas no sorry it's not that uh, what's the uh, Winter win Wish Day yeah, it's, 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 Winter Wish Day it's called Hearts and um, hearts warming Eve. So it's like, wait, what? <laughs> well, well, they can't do hearts warming Eve because that was a celebration of the three tribes 
coming together, and they've all been kind of racist since then. But that's the thing. It's oh, it's 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 one of those things where, okay, I I I can understand why certain aspects are not included from previous thing to the present. Uh, for example, the hearts and hoofs. Uh, no heart. Hearts and Hoof Days? No, that's the Valentine's Day. Uh, well, I, I forgot. Uh, Hearts Warming Eve, yes. Uh, I, I can understand why they don't put Hearts Warming Eve, like you mentioned before. Um, they were not united and so on, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of things come into question when that happens. And a lot of things happen. And like I mentioned there, there is a lot to point out. So anyway, um, let's let's continue. You know, Sorry, I was just just wanted to say, considering what a giant uh, history buff, uh, uh, son is uh, that was the whole thing about the quest just passed. You think that uh, she'd probably in on the know on the whole, uh, you know, G four uh, thing. What with the uh, Christmas song, the holiday oh, song, I mean. True. Oh, man. Silva? No, I got nothing. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I feel you, man. But at the same time, too, it's one of those things where how far does Equestrian History goes? How far does was it recorded and so on? And what was lost and so on? Uh, I'm not including the comics for now because I haven't read them, so I got no idea what Discord told them. But the fact of the matter is, what was kept and what was lost? Well, definitely not heartwarming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heartwarming or heartwarming Eve, not really a thing anymore. Yeah. So yeah. But anywho, let's continue on before we spend three hours talking about Christmas. Which is not bad. Christmas is fun. <clears throat> so, anywho, uh, we, we see that happening. Uh, we, we see uh, Sunny baking cookies and so on. You know, just having the fun times. And also, we spot uh, in the... Well, we, we spot the two princesses. Uh, that's, that still bothers me, but... <laughs> Uh, it makes sense. But anywho, we, we spot the two princesses. Um, <clears throat> uh, Pep, uh, Pip and Zip, Zip. rehearsing for the <clears throat> Zephyr Heights Winter Time, uh, Winter Night, win, win, wish, wish, wish Night, Wish, wish Night Royal Carousel Concert. Oh. Wish W I S H Wish Night Wish Night Oh boy That's a mouthful It's a long title Yep uh, Basically the W H Z Z H W R C C Yes <clears throat> let's, let's Let's Jot it down So I can Casually put it in a word so I might sound smart or dumb. Pick one. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anywho, uh, they're rehearsing for that because it's a tradition for the princesses to go up on stage, spend three hours singing and dancing to the people of uh, Zephyr Heights, which is admirable. Which is admirable because performing for the people. Hmm? I can dig it. And Zip is off key because it doesn't look like she's a singer type. <clears throat> well, I, mean, the, I mean, if this were portrait day, she'd be in her element singing. But no, this requires public <laughs> singing. That, that is true. But still, uh, she she's trying and they're distracted by Izzy who is, well, being Izzy. Yeah. So easy being easy, trying to look for ornaments for trees. Okay, and then we cut to um, Hitch talking about her grandma because her grandma is the best grandma in the world. Your grandma sucks. Oh man, 
Screw you, Easy. <laughs> Sorry, screw you, Hitch. <laughs> And it's like, oh, don't, don't you be talking smack about Izzy. She's still my fave. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, hey, screw you. My grandma. Well, if I had a grandma, sh she would be awesome too. Hm. Oh, boy. That's the person. <laughs> so, anywho, carrying on. She tells uh, his animal friends that uh, her grandma is very particular in what she does for the holidays, which was... Uh, the winter wish day where it has to be this particular manner, particular way, blah, 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 every time, every year. So, oh no, we're setting up for a conflict of, oh my goodness, she doesn't like change. Ah! <coughs> so yeah, uh, we, we see the whole conflict going on and so on and so on. So, uh... Sunny comes in saying, yo guys, um, I have the biggest day planned out for us. I, I can't wait for you guys to look for the special surprise later on tonight where we can we'll see the uh, star come passing by and stuff. It's a tradition I do, do with my father and so on. And everybody's like, oh, um, easy, um, sorry, uh, Sunny, uh, we have some news for you, and um, we got our own thing to do. And oh no, what do we do? The ponies have prior engagement to attend to the conflict, the drama. Ah, Silver, what do they do? Well, do well. They just they. Vow to basically do everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh no! Yeah, are we going? Are we going to get googly eye rocks? Well, better that, better that than transformations via a plug. If you know what I mean. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, fun show. <clears throat> I'm missing the context on that one. Uh, uh, have you ever, have you seen the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once? No. You should. It's fun. Mm. To channel the... Uh... Silver, silver, silver. No, don't. Let him discover it for himself. Mm? Oh, so okay. we've got audience at home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, context denied. Yes. Uh, damn it. But anywho, uh, almost close there, silver, but not really. Uh, our two ponies, Zip and Izzy, had, well, kind of an inspirational moment, and they have a surprise for the group. Uh, they kind of created a safety hazard. More than that, they just ignored Tell Your Tale entirely. Oh, well, yeah, I was going to mention that. Do explain. Okay, uh, there is an episode of Tell Your Tale that is specifically devoted to the creation of the Mare Stream. Taking flight. Hmm. I mean, they go through, and it is, it is well, I'd argue, better handled than Tell Your Tale, as it shows them working and their friendship growing because of it. But the, pl the same plot points are there. Friendship gathers, the, the, can the lantern pulls a tree of harmony mm -hmm. and uh, upgrades the, the look and the ability. But if you're going... I've always figured that Tell Your Tale was the mortar that filled in the blocks between each, uh, was the mortar that filled in the space between each uh, episode of uh, Make Your Mark. So Make Your Mark is the bricks, Tell Your Tale is the mortar, but now they're ignoring their own continuity. And that is why it's so confusing. But anywho, well, sorry, go ahead. Well, that's what, it's another ding I have against this year special. Yeah, I, I get you. I, I feel you. And it's one of those things where it's really stupidly annoying. Like, I, mm, it's one of those details where, okay, I can forgive if it's from the comic canon because comic canon always takes a back seat. So that's understandable. But this, this here, oh man, what, what, what did they call it? What what did they call it? Like there there is a specific name for 
the device uh, and it's not popping up J- jsx marketer no 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 no, 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 no. it's not, this in this case it's deus ex magica <laughs> no, no, not even that i'm just trying to figure out the the um the device stream MacGuffin? no 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 um, it's the ship oh, no, or the plane or whatever it is there's a specific name for it uh the sleep stream or something like that well, they call it the Mayor Stream. The Mayor Stream. But... Okay, so yeah, that's the name. <clears throat> so, anywho, um, gonna go in for a bit. So, yeah, they, they show in safety hazard, and somehow uh, the ponies who are not Zip and Easy are kind of worried that uh, that they will kill us. But nice try. We'll we'll see what we can do with it, and Easy. Sorry, um, Sunny hands over Zip the lantern and somehow puts the lantern into the washing machine and it transforms the mare, 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 yeah, mare, the trolley into the mare stream, yeah, the trolley into the mare stream into a Tesla. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the Tesla model, whatever. It runs on magic, so yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess it looks it looks great. It looks good. It has six seats. It has um, uh, on board. Uh, what you call this? Touch screen controls. Uh, it looks like it works with your Apple uh, Apple Drive, or whatever you call, or Google Drive. So yeah, it, it looks it looks awesome. It looks awesome. And in the back of my mind, oh, sorry, um, initially I look at it as, oh, wow, that's so cool. I got no idea how they're going to operate this. And sitting with you guys, it hit me. This is just another toy. Oh, yes. I'm sure it's already hitting Marcus. Oh, man. Actually, here we go. A quick Amazon search. Mayor Stream. Yeah, the mare stream. Yep, yep. There's a toy of it already. Doesn't look all that good, to be honest. Oh, and let me guess, it's pink. Purple, actually. Purple and green. Purple and green. Oh, let's see. Ah, huh. it. I wonder if it matches the show. It shouldn't be purple and rainbow. It matches the show a bit, I guess. I, I guess. Oh, it has changing color thingies. Oh, you're seeing the little, the little girl d- dipping it in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that shock face that she's trying to sell me on. I mean that. That's way too much surprise for it changing in water. I mean, she's just discovered a new element or something. <laughs> I mean, she never seen it before. I mean, I I pity the child. Is that's the first time she saw something <laughs> change color? Oh man! It's like she's never seen a sunset. Oh man! Yeah. Oh. She's. I'm more She's just like, oh my god! Oh my god, what is it? <laughs> oh, I I'm have more to... surprised by I'm more surprised by the size of the character figurines. Like they look like pets when you put them over there on the Oh uh, yeah. The, uh, it, 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 they're, they're, they're really small. <laughs> One thing I'm a bit disappointed in the toy is that it doesn't have RGB strips. <laughs> oh, like if you take a look see at the, um, if you take a look see at the uh, show, it has RGB strips to wazoo. Like you can control it with the um Acer arrow or something, <laughs> or or the uh, razor something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, uh, PC gamer master race, God damn it. So yeah, ah oh, boy, we we can riff on this all day, all night, man. 
Indeed. So anywho, um, as the uh, mesh stream pops into existence with its uh, large wingspan, uh, awesome looking things, uh, it kind of awesome and they point out something like hey uh, there's six pedestal seats whatever and there's only five of us hmm mm-hmm. nice observation ponies I do wonder who could be the sixth pony in your group hmm foreshadowing so true. I mean, I, honestly, I got no idea. Who is it? <laughs> well, about the only character that seems to have some sort of character are going on. Oh, man. Opaline. Oh, mm-hmm. What about that red pony? <laughs> uh, yeah, he he's lucky just to get a cameo in this oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, he I has powers. I think you meant Misty, not Opaline. No, actually, I think it would be kind of funny if, like... Misty goes crazy, steals Opaline's powers, and now Opaline has to work with the pony she's been undermining. Oh, that would be that would be quite the twist. <laughs> also, that's going to be a bit difficult considering we've seen what the co- what happened in the comics. <laughs> uh, I don't think Redemption's in the line for that one. We'll see. We'll see. Also, by the way, um, I, I had a joke, and tell me if this is funny. Uh, when, when, when the trolley came into existence, or when when they reveal the trolley, and then like Zip puts on uh, puts the lantern on, Twilight just says, "Oh no, I can't let this character die. Let me transform this into something that will at least save them." <laughs> Hence, the mainstream was born. No. No. <laughs> Well, either either which way. I mean, uh, I think it's more. I I mean, I'd just draw a uh, parallel to the clubhouse with the student six. Oh yeah. Oh god. I mean, okay. I stu- with with the student six, we at least see them struggle with each other to create the tree house, and the lesson there was. Uh, we, with working together, we can accomplish anything, no matter how great or bad it looks. And the tree just threw him a bone. Yeah, but the the spirit of the tree's basically been already sort of linked to them as far as uh, the eighth season. Eh. Uh, boys, what still? <laughs> God. Uh, but here we've got the sex magic going on, and, and it isn't the the last time that's gonna happen in the, uh, in this special. Oh man, it feels that way. But anywho, but anywho, um, Hitch makes a funny joke. Sorry, uh, Easy made a funny joke where Hitch just asks, "Do you have a license to pilot this thing?" And Easy creates one out of thin air, and Hitch just says, "Looks good to me." <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. That's how you work it, kids. No, don't listen to me. I'm an idiot. Ah, boys. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, the ponies are excited about their new ride and decides to take a rest for the night before heading off tomorrow. Am I right? Or they head off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, they pack everything up they want to pack. Um... Packs like rarity, and the folks just say, No, you don't need that. Also, your baggage is overweight, and it'll make the plane not fly. So put that back in. So, anywho, uh, they hop in, they do some checks, and they fly off to, well, uh, Hitch, Hitch's grandmother's place. Before that, I have to point out. Uh, when the ponies, uh, Sunny and Hitch, grew up, they wish for a snowy, what you call this, uh, winter wish day. But it never happened because, well, they're on a beachside or beach-type property where it's not 
known to snow, but this time around it's snowing and yay, everybody's having a really good time. Yay, awesomeness. So carrying on, uh, they fly off to HS grandmother's place and uh, they, 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 they fly and they sing songs. And one, one of the few things that they notice is that, hey, wait, what? Why does the lyrics sound different for your thing? And I think Sunny was the one that pointed out that, oh, that means each of us have the same tune but different lyrics to them. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, why not we just sing it and try to um, uh, put a twist or take turns and so on. So they do and it was pretty fun. Until some Pegasi flying didn't wash their way and almost got hit. Dumbasses. If I'm not mistaken, they were in the Tell Your Tale, right? Uh, they were in the Make Your Mark special, at least. Oh. Actually, they always seem to be just flying around. Although, I don't know if Izzy's, uh, or sorry, uh, if Zip's in a position to criticize, she had her eyes closed while singing. <laughs> She had her glasses on, man. <laughs> and how are those two and... Pegasus I supposed to know that something's suddenly going to come flying their way? That is also true. So I'm, I'm just going to say that's, that's more a zip road rage, or in this case, sky rage. Oh, her glasses are not... Ah, big mistake. They should have been like vinyls. But they are not. At least... You have big glasses covering your whole eye, so ponies don't really see what you see. And if you have it open, like, I I have them open. You got no evidence that I wasn't opening them. <laughs> but anywho, uh, they arrive and Hitch tells the ponies, okay, guys, Grandma's very particular. Uh, we, we need to follow her way, her rules, and so on. And oh, boy, we, we, we are getting the conflict here. Mm. All right, no problem, no problem. So... We, we hop in and we see, oh, grand, Grandma is very cool and very, uh, what you call this, chill. So, <clears throat> I'm going to pause here. Silver, what do you think? Well, I think it would have been a more interesting if, if they had gone with Grandma being very particular. You know, add, adding a bit of uh, discomfort, I guess is the word. For the ponies as they try to adapt to the traditions. As it is, it's just Hitch being over Hitch. I mean, it's like, Hitch, you're at a nine. I need you to bring it down to a four. Yeah, that, that's what something, and, I, uh, something I don't understand why it's a huge uh, head that might say in the first place that uh, we have to do, do, do it like this, otherwise Grandma's going to be a bit antsy. Well, like, why did he think so in the first place? It's it's one of those things where it's it's kind of a catch twenty two where Hitch has always been celebrating Wish Day with his grandma in that manner and it's never changed. And grandma has well not really kind of uh, changed it up or anything like that and kind of well wants to make Hitch happy, so she just goes along with him. So it's one of those two where we got no idea who. In this case, we already know because, well, we watch it. But it's one of those cases where we got no idea who is trying to please who. And as we go on, we, we, we notice. And that's kind of interesting. And the whole pony... You know, like, oh. well, see, I didn't find it terribly interesting. I mean, it's sweet. It's sweet to see them interacting. And you know, there's this loving grandma who especially is being nice to Sparky. Uh, but honestly, again, it's all, it, it's a question of conflict. You can say there's a conflict and technically there is, but it's not very driven. Oh, yes. It's not, it's not really caused us to feel invested. It's just, you know, a nice visit with family and bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Yep. And, um, before I head on, Jacob, you have anything to say? Well, I think that's probably uh, that's probably one of the rare occasions in the series that uh, Oz Park is not uh, how do you put it? Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Hated beyond belief. Uh, the, 
No, no, not exactly hated. More like he's not a nuisance to the plot or uh, something like that. Mm, all right, all right. All right. Although I, I've only recently learned how badly the fandom seems to regard Sparky. It's... Spark... Oh, man. Spark... I think we've talked about this in the previous podcast when we were talking about the <coughs> state of G5 and why it's not tracking as good as G4 was. Yeah, but mm. uh, <laughs> true. Maybe we're maybe we're not repeating also, but still, the, the the idea is Sparky is one of those things where it spits in the eye of the fans or established canon, where we already know how dragons live, act, whatever, and Sparky here is just like. Hey, we need a dragon for the show, so put in a dragon and then let him have little wings. But sir, dragons don't have wings until they're mature. I don't fucking care. We need wings with dragons. Sorry, we need dragons with wings. Do it or you're fired. Oh yeah, and also the part where Dragon Fire basically just does some crazy magic shit even though dragons mostly don't have that. Spike that, was an exception, but that was mostly for uh, Messenger thing. That, that one, I think, is a spell or a ability that was taught by him by Celestia. Well, either which way, it just uh, it does not work. It's, it's, oh man, it ruins established canon. But at the same time, too, this is his own new thing, and... Uh, <sighs> Oh, so, For a series that brags about how uh, they're going to continue be, uh, from uh, G4 onward because uh, they, G- G4 already put in so much work and they didn't want to, well, uh, do everything from scratch. This is like really, um, I don't know, not giving a damn about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and that's one of those things where I can understand. Oh man, this goes back to... Oh, god damn it. This is one of those things where they came in with the right idea. They came in with the right energy, but they did the Star Wars thing. Yeah. They came in like a wrecking ball. Anyway, let's continue on. So I'm just going to fast forward and point out a few things. So they went into... uh, grandma's house and they have hot cocoa with marshmallows uh, and they, they have a good time one of the few things that Hitch point out like oh um, those trees are new I don't like it I I don't like change and grandma says oh I, I grew that myself with my crazy earth pony magic can you do that Applejack ha <laughs> <laughs> Man, Applejack for for her. She could have really used this. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for Applejack to, for first time in space, to tell Phyllis, "You don't get to use Sugar Cube. <laughs> That's my word." <laughs> nah, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, anywho, we we see them enjoying, having fun, um, looking at pictures and whatnot, and. We, we come into a very uh, nice scene where Grandma is showing pictures of Hitch when he was a filly. No, sorry, uh, it was a foal. And we, we pop into a page where we see that um, Sunny and her dad. Um, what was her dad's name? I don't remember. Argyle. Argyle visited um, Grandma too in the past and they took a picture. And uh, they they mentioned something about going to Maritime Bay to celebrate, and it, it was a very sweet moment, and it was a lot of ah. And also, I got to ask, where's Hitch's parents? Well, maybe, <laughs> well, maybe they were having their own special celebration. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I see, I see, I see what you're dropping them. Uh, sorry, dropping down, and I'm picking it up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. Well, then you might as well ask where Easy's parents. 
Paris. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Paris in cartoon shows. They're so depressing. <laughs> no, really, it's best. Uh, they're just off to the left. Ah, no, no, no. My favorite is who do you think took the picture? <laughs> <laughs> But anywho, um, as we move on, we see Grandma wanting to tell a story from a storybook. And <clears throat> Zip just noticed, hey, um, sorry, uh, Easy noticed, hey, they, those, those looks, that, uh, that looks like my tree and those are uh, unicorns and so on. Uh, and Zip here says, oh, that's a fascinating book. Do you mind if I take it home with me and try to look at stuff? And Grandma says, yeah, sure. You can take my book. Uh, you can borrow my book and whatnot. And Zip says, borrow? Oh, yes. Borrow. Yes, borrow. Borrow for a really long time and you're not having it back. Yes, that's that, that, that borrow. And he just says, Let's go to the kitchen and make some gingerbread cookie houses. Yay. So, <clears throat> we see them, well, trying to build gingerbread cookie houses. Grandma says, um, Hitch, uh, we, we don't really need to use lights. Uh, we can just use them without the lights this year. And Hitch just ignores her because tradition. So, yes, we, we see the houses and one, uh, we see the lights and houses. They, they make really cool uh, gingerbread houses and it's really fun it, it's really fun to see what the ponies come up with um, we see them create the gingerbread houses and whatnot and it was really cool it was really cool then we, we see what's the dragon's name man sparky <laughs> sparky sparky Spark oh my god <sighs> why Why? Why ask why? Why the name? Why that name in particular? Why? 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 Tell me why ain't nothing but a hard end. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was that. Spark. Oh, goodness me. All right. <clears throat> anyway, so Sparky here um, just goes around chomping on stuff and accidentally poofs fire and hits one of the teapots. Oh no! The teapot is going to be sending off to Celestia! Not really. Um, somehow it magically transforms into a plush. And Hitch panics because, oh no, that's Grandma's favorite teapot. We've been using it for years! And Grandma says, ha ha ha, don't worry, don't worry. I have a new batch coming in. And nobody's concerned about the fact that the dragon just Transform the teapot into a plush. What? Silver? Oh yeah, he does. He does that throughout the series. He burps. He farts. He his magic changes everything. It's part of the reason I think people dislike Sparky. Every act he does seems to be a negative to those around him, and yet he's constantly being coddled because he's a baby. I mean, even Flurry Cat wasn't that annoying. Uh, but I mean, she did try to. She did almost kill an entire nation. Who now? Flurry Heart. Oh. And she destroyed the crystal heart. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, Flurry. Okay. I, 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 oh god. But then she fixed it at least in the end. Oh my god! I can't believe I'm going to defend Flurry here. Shh. Oh, the world's turned upside down. <clears throat> All right, in defense of Flurry, <laughs> that's felt bad. She is hard to put. She, she hmm, hard to put. She, she, she doesn't really know her extent of her powers and so on, but she does know when she did it wrong and when she did it right. And the parents do try to reel her in when possible with Sparky here it's how they put this the things that he does is inconsistent 
Maybe, maybe why Flurry Heart is a tad more acceptable is because she's an alicorn and alicorn can do whatever the hell they want. Agree? No? Well, no, I mean, I find that the problem is that the when you introduce characters like this, the parents or the adults in the room suddenly become ineffectual idiots trying to reel them well, in. Yeah, that's true. You, you do see at least um, Cadence and Shining Armor try to, and granted, they're first-time parents. And here's the thing. You give a first-time parents major challenges and they're going to be really, really out of the element. Giving a first-time parents a normal baby is also a challenge for them. Now, times 100 or whatever, when you have the baby becoming an almighty god. Well, when given that Cadence herself is an alicorn, I think she'd be better, but uh, better equipped to handle Flory Heart, but then she's uh, Shining Armor, I thought you were handling the baby. Great teamwork. <laughs> so true. Well, with this one... Sorry? Oh, and then there's then there's the great one. King Sombra is invading. Hey, I thought you were ke to keep an eye on Flory Heart. I thought you were. Way to go. You, you really got to get on the same page as parents. Yep. Uh, goodness me. But still... <laughs> <clears throat> Let's carry on. Oh boy, um, the uh, grandma doesn't matter, and uh, Sparky here has a new plush. So the ponies head back to the mare stream and head back off to well, wherever they want to go. Uh, next up is ooh, yeah, it's Bridalwood, Bridalwood uh, Easy's hometown. So, uh, what Izzy wants to do is try to well, pick up some stuff from her uh, house. Uh, she does that, and it's the snow is kind of getting. Um, how do I say? It's kind of getting very heavy. Oh, but it doesn't. I mean, uh, snow is normal, right? I mean, <laughs> a, a normal snow day. That's that's cool. So, <clears throat> as they ponder the weather, Izzy comes in saying, Hey guys, I got you something. Uh, even you, Sparky. Here, here's our some scarf to weather the coal. And you would think that, oh, um, snow. That's a normal occurrence because Izzy prepared some scarves for them. So that's cool and whatnot. And Zip here as Izzy. Has it always been known to snow around Bridalwood? And Izzy thinks for a bit and does this face where it's, oh my god, she's ever for ofoing and says, nope, it's never snowed before. Okay now. Fascinating. So, <clears throat> they, they, they go. Something that makes me wonder about this, uh, is in the post equestrian world does the snow even exist? Ah yes. I mean before this. Yeah yes. Now, this is a good question. And also I and have that's the case how do they know what snow is? Picture books? <laughs> Same question. Well, I mean somehow the weather is still operating. Either twilight to let the Everfree Forest weather patterns take over, or someone's someone's running the uh, the we weather factory in secret. Oh, no. Oh no. What if you find out? What if you find out that there's a there's an overseer to Equestria? I call it. Um, I I'm guessing it's the Wounded Toaster. <laughs> oh boy. But, but speaking of appliances. <laughs> Uh, Where do Pegasi get electricity from? Oh man, we, we haven't reached there yet, but still. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. Okay, continue. 
<laughs> oh man, the more we ask, the more questions. Oh god. But anyway, um, as we stroll through bridal wood, we we see a lot of unicorns having pop up stores, selling crafts and whatnot, and it's kind of cool. Yay! Uh, and Easy points out, oh, that's a tree. Uh, the tradition in bridal wood is you put ornaments on the tree, and it makes all the bad juju go away. And Easy was going to put up her ornament until she sees Alpha Brittle. And they, they change pleasantries and Easy says, how about we have a game? And I stick my uh, ornament for the tree for whatever you have. What did she, what, what did Alpha bet? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was just the, I think it was just uh, the decorations they oh, offered. All right. So they play charades. Sorry, go ahead. But, well, I gotta say, trying to, trying to scam, con, compete your friend out of a traditional decoration, which is jinxies otherwise, kind of a jerk move. Yeah, but it's tradition. Once you bet something, you have to... I don't... Uh, go through with it if it's worth betting but it, you didn't have to take a bet I mean Alpha Biddle apparently has a gambling problem now <laughs> that we know of <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe he's like sorry. and also they don't they don't get how to play charades either you, you get me man like I, I don't know how to play charades Never, I don't I, I don't okay. played it before so I got no idea the goal is to get is for your partner to guess what you are trying to say. If they aren't successful, you don't win, you lose. It's up to the other team. Yeah. The other team. Yeah. So Alphabetal not not letting uh or not able to convey to Izzy, that's not good. That means he loses. These rules make no sense. I, the, um, pro, um, you know what? I, I no sense whatsoever. I, I don't know how to play charades, so I got no idea. But that's strange. Well, it, it is flawed. Flawed, I say. This was a con yep. job. But anywho, uh, con job or not, Izzy was prepared to lose, and she had an extra one. And Izzy said, "Wait, don't you, do, don't you get prepared for random?" A uh, charade battle that you lose, Izzy, dear. I love you, but you have a problem. So, anywho, they go up to the tree. That but... problem. That problem being that she's prescient. <laughs> oh, of course. But anywho, they go. Up, she go up to the tree, offer her ornament to the tree, and. Uh, gets ready to leave. But before that, uh, they hear everybody say, uh, what was their uh, celebration called? Not really celebration, but uh, greetings. What was it called? W winter. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> let's see if I can... No, Google. Oh, no. Not this one. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, wind, uh, wishy hoof. Wishy hoof. Da, da, da. What you think? Huh. That's odd. They don't see it each other? Really? Oh, happy wishy hoof. Eh? Huh? No, I think no, that's no, at the end. Frosty shivers. Frosty shivers? Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know why I was thinking that's frosty they... shakes for some reason. That's frosty shivers and there's a... Well... 
Yeah, they say frosty shivers, frosty shivers, frosty shivers, frosty shivers. Shivers, shivers of the frosties. Easy moon. Enjoy those scarves and have a happy wishy hoof or okay, cuties. Uh, frosty shivers. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> all right. So, anywho, um, she asks about the tradition and says, "Oh, frosty shivers. Uh, that's how we greet." Merry Christmas. So, um, they do that. They spend time a bit here. And they head back to uh, the street, Mer- Mer- stream and head to Zephyr Heights. Am I missing anything? Am I going too fast? No? Yes? No, if anything, we need to go All right, time. then. So, we go in ludicrous, ludicrous speed. <laughs> so as they try to go to ludicrous speed, uh, the ship is kind of shaking, and they can't really see their location because it's snowing really bad. It's snowing really, really bad, and we see everybody trying this new, uh, sorry, this traditional unicorn magic where they wish all the bad things to go away, and somehow it works. No, not really, because the ship. It's powered by rainbow magic. I'm just going to say it's powered by Twilight because Twilight is just saving their asses right about now. And uh, managed to fly them safely to Zephyr Heights where they have a good time. So uh, here's where I'm going to really fast forward stuff because there's a two-way split. Um, Zephyr, sorry, um, Zip and Petals are going to hang out with her mom while the rest of the crew are just going to have a box seat at the theater where they just, well, where, where they just enjoy the show. Um, there's a few funny things happen because uh, there's presents on the table and they thought, hey, that's nice of them. Opens it up and it's nothing. Oh, I wanted to make a stupid joke about your birthday and giving you nothing, Silver. Oh, Miss opportunity. <laughs> We got you the darkest, most metal present of all. Nothing. How do you know I wasn't there for Christmas? <laughs> uh, Miss Opportunity. Okay, anyway. Um, with um, the sisters, they go window shopping or shopping with their mom. And the guards are carrying it up on their back as a tall Jenga stack. I wonder what happened to carriages. Do they, do they not exist? So, not for not when you're walking down the street. I mean, imagine having a carriage just inching forward every couple of inches, I mean, like a cart or something. It can fly. Yeah, just, uh, it's like in the first episode of the Friendship is Magic. Uh, when Twilight and Spike get delivered uh, from Canterlot to Ponyville. Different universe, different storyline. <laughs> what do you mean different I universe? Don't it's think the I've same seen... universe. I don't think I've seen any uh, flying carriages in Zephyr Heights. Like, no vehicles other than, like, sky uh, trams. <sighs> so true. But anywho, um, they, they go shopping, and then they, uh, the, the queen, queen whatever her name is, man, does anybody remember the queen's name? Okay. Uh, queen Haven. Haven. Yeah. Haven, wow, okay. What? How come that doesn't pop into my head? Like, wow. Well, never forgive me, but you're, I, I think you've been struggling with a lot of these they're names. New. They're new, but at least Alpha Brittle kind of pops into my head. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's a very unique name. And the Queen. I don't remember her name at all. I know the Queen. That's about it. <laughs> but Haven. Huh. I'm just looking through the transcript here and like, yeah, Queen Haven. All right. Um, as we continue on, Queen the Queen just tells the uh, sisters that uh, I managed to pull some strings and we're going to double the length of the play or the show. So you're going to have six performance. And the two sisters are like, what? Oh, Sunny's going to kill us. So, they go up on stage, they do a little song and dance, 
And to be honest, it was not memorable at all because I couldn't remember a thing about the performance except for nice choreography, I guess. Well, for the sisters, at least, uh, for some reason, everyone else is just in a choir, all in these really heavy robes. I mean, I part, part of me thinks that saves on the animation budget tremendously. Yep, so true. <laughs> oh, but but anywho, as they perform up on stage, uh, the sisters say goodbye to their mom, hug, hug her, and uh, head out to the... Uh, mare stream uh, but the mare stream is covered in heavy snow and this is kind of a problem and at the same time uh, previously the two sisters asked uh, mom has the place been known for snow because it doesn't seem right and we didn't get a conclusive answer because mother was distracted by uh, shopping yes so <clears throat> sorry Oh, one th one thing we kind of neglected to mention that I just find curious. Uh, Posey was in the audience. Posey for the not Fluttershy. Oh, really? Yeah, she was in the audience, and I thought that above all was the strangest thing for me. For Posey has never been one to strike me as going one outside Maritime Bay. Two, making it all the way up to uh, Zephyr Heights. And three, showing any interest in another culture. Mm. I mean, she's still, to my, to my eyes, the Karen <laughs> pony. Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I haven't seen the whole thing, so I, I can't really say much. But maybe culture exchange she wants to learn more like no dynamic who knows who knows but um the performance was long and they were sleeping through it so yay so anywho like i mentioned before hug mom let's get out uh go out the mare stream is covered in snow and they got no idea uh so uh true crook or hook by cook or hook or cook uh, they try to find it and they use the power of twilight to kind of magically wish the um, discovery of the mare stream uh, they find it and easy pops out hey guys look at this this book is kind of telling us what's really happening uh, easy made a wish to find the what you call this uh Mare Mare stream, stream? and she found it and here this book says uh, in the past the ponies wish for snow and it happened oh no we need to head back to Bridalwood to kind of tell them to stop saying the traditional words what basically they discover that Frosty Shivers is actually an ancient incantation mm. And that if you say it enough, kind of like South Park with uh, the curse <laughs> words. <laughs> if you say it often enough, they actually do start to have a magical influence. So apparently, even though they've they've fallen pretty far from their previous heights, unicorns are still the magical supreme race in Equestria, <laughs> as even their dialogue can be magically charged. Uh, yes. And Twilight, no, no, who, who now? I, I, I have a feeling that so, sorry, Sun, Sunny Star Scout. Star Scout. Wow. Oh my God, who is she? I remember the name. I forgot the pony. God damn it! No man, I'm starting to worry about you. Man, it's been a while. Okay, scratch that. I'm slightly more concerned than than already. Oh my. Okay. Oh wow. Oh God. Is she, oh. Oh my goodness! Oh. I, at this rate, you're gonna have to turn in your brony badge. Oh, it's G four. Oh man, it's one of those things. Oh man, oh. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. But oh god. <laughs> Relax, Norman. I have trouble rem remembering full name of character. No, no, no. Yep. 
Mm. I just remember the first name. It's true. It's true. I mean, it is hard to keep these all in mind. Going back to Don Brothers, I can't remember all the Japanese names. Uh, it's, it's one of those things where I I want to, in my defense, I haven't really consumed a lot of G5, but at the same time, too, come on, you asshole, you at least have to know the main characters of G5, at least. Dude, okay, now you're, now I'm more worried that you're being too hard I on mean, yourself. I mean, as the podcaster who's been doing this for almost 10 years, I should be. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's one of those things where I haven't really consumed a lot of G5, so I'm, I'm having a hard time to remember certain names. If G4, yeah, I, I remember the main six, and then a bit of the side characters that I can remember a bit. And Sunny is the, oh man, Sunny Star Scout is one of those names where I, I don't think of her, I, I think of Sunset Shimmers. So it's well, yeah. you never so, know. So it's one of those things where sunset streamer. What do you shorten sunset to, Sunny? So, <clears throat> but anywho, carrying on. Uh, easy, yes, easy here. Heads back home to tell the ponies, guys, stop saying uh, frosty winters, for whatever it is. Uh, it's. It's shivers. Yeah, forty shivers. It's a very. Uh, uh, your words have power, and if you do that, more times we're going to have a snowstorm. So stop it, please. And surprisingly, they do stop it. <laughs> but then they have to change their greeting, and in fact, they actually have to say uh, an entirely new thing. Mm-hmm. Warm. So now Frosty Shivers is warm wishy hoof. Warm wishy hoof. Oh goodness. And oh man, I, I'm just surprised. It's funny. Okay. It's funny how quickly the the magic and just the spells can just change on the fly like that. I mean, if we go back to G four, I mean going back to Flurry Heart episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, How much uh, Twilight struggled in, in order to make a spell uh, to, you know, fix the heart. <laughs> and they just do it on the well, plot. Well, I think that's partly Twilight's work in making Equestria. Ironically, despite the drought of magic, they, it's now more magical than ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because of the Unity Crystals. Crystals. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Say it with me now, Krista. Okay, Sombra. Calm it down. Calm it down. No. Uh, but no. Um, okay. Uh, but no. Uh, did, my, my. Oh, man. How, how do I put this? Like, I, I understand. No. It's one of those things where I'm thinking, like, the magic has evolve over time but we don't see it evolve you know what i mean we know that it evolves but we don't see it evolve and i think that bothers some people okay i'm not 100 percent sure who it bothers but it should bother me and probably you jacob i don't i'm not sure about you silver but still it's really bothering me that we don't see how it works we don't have a set rule of how Things work. There are no rules, sorry. That, that's the problem there. After previously what we've been told from G4 and a bit of Equestria Girls, this is how it works and this is how it operates. But with G5, there's no consistent thing that's been told to us where doing X equals to Y and results in Z. Sorry, Z. Well, who knows? Perhaps they will address this magical imbalance or the evolution thereof. But like I say, this is not the special that really fleshes out that, that aspect oh, of Equestria. Yeah, I can't clearly tell that. But with the, uh, the 
magic words the unicorn says um frosty shivers one we talk, like you you have to really ponder like it's the, the unicorns here have so much power that saying phrases pops up some kind of magical thing the, that that's that's on a whole new level where it's bullshit or kind of irresponsible no, nah, no, nah, that's that's if I get to go there and teach them a new uh, saying, delightful dysentery. <laughs> Just wish each other, hey, delightful dysentery to you, delightful dysentery to you, delightful, delightful, delightful. And then the real problem starts. <laughs> I do not want to know what happens. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> but funny that we're talking about the whole thing about this, uh, uh, this special not explaining much. It also doesn't explain, like, the core thing about what all the holidays are pretty much about. Uh, on a lighter sense, on a on a surface level, the holiday is about hanging out with your friends and families. And uh, yes, but yes, but what what is it based on? Uh -huh, that that we like we know that we know the Tark Sorang is based on the whole thing where well. We, we get the whole spiel, uh, the whole play. Mm -hmm. The entire episode is dedicated to explain why why they celebrate that. Yeah. And, and that's where G4 works while G5 is kind of struggling. By the way, Silver, before I continue on with this train of thought, did the YouTube thing pop up any Christmas specials? The, the yeah. YouTube uh, thing? Uh, show show well, you more. I mean, I've, my recommendation... My recommendations list? No, no, no. Uh, what I mean is, uh, uh, YouTube has, uh, sorry, uh, the official My Little Pony page on YouTube has their own uh, show. Um, I, I'm forgetting the title, and uh, give me a second. Uh, it's uh, Tell Your Tale. Yes, sorry, remember that. Did Tell Your Tale uh, post any, what you might call this, uh, stories to for, for Christmas or something like that? Well, let's see. They, uh, yeah, there have been several. Most recently, a companion piece to the special of where Misty was and how she was still trying to steal Sparky's dragon fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right, then. But uh, no explanation about the holiday, then? No, nope, uh, so, not really. So basically, uh, the whole when Sunny was just singing uh, Merry Christmas that's our clue for, oh, this is the holiday and this is what it represents. But only in pony form. Yeah, and we can't really say Christmas because all of the people who are sensitive to this might get insulted. <sighs> Don't look at me. I didn't write the special. Nah, it's... Just, oh, God. Anyway. <clears throat> Moving on as fast as I can. Uh, they head back home and manage to check out the, what you call this? Yeah, the Wishing the star. star. And the, the Wishing Star flies over and it poofs into magical uh, fireworks. And uh, what you call this? Uh, Sunny managed to uh, kind of magic her way to a bat signal. So whenever Sunny wants to contact her friends who are not answering their phone, she can just pop up the signal from the lighthouse to kind of call shame her friends. What? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. It's dumb. <laughs> but anywho... <clears throat> Uh, we 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 head down. We we see the ponies playing games and whatnot. And Easy has, Easy just remembers she has a present for everyone, and the present is nothing, absolutely nothing. Actually, I'm reminded of uh, Doctor Who. Allow me to give you a gift: air from my lungs. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Uh, that's it. That, that, that is it. Oh, boys. 
And yeah, with, with that episode ends, I guess. Yep. So let's oh, let's wrap it up. Uh, Silver, what did you think? I mean, it's a sweet special with uh, introducing one or two new characters, and but by and large, it's low conflict, low investment. It's something you have sort of on the background as you're having a Christmas party, or maybe something to distract the kids. But it's not really gripping. I'm not gripped. There's no gripification. Oh yeah, I, I I totally get what you mean by that, and it, it doesn't, it don't, it didn't, you don't feel that way, man. Like you, you at least hope that, hey, uh, what you call this special has, um, good shows, right? So let let's hope for something fun, something you know, amazing. But no, nah, it's just, it's just, eh. But we can't settle for eh. We demand more than eh. I demand eh plus. That, that is true. That is true. Ah, uh, well, it, at least it wasn't insulting or offensive. Not yet. Give, give them until they have their version of Valentine's Day. That where they really do call it Singles Awareness Day. God damn it, no, Silver. Why did you have to remind me of it? No. It approaches. I don't want this. I, 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 see, here's the problem, you know. This show has four mares, one coat, one stallion. An episode like that happens. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, well, Jacob, what, what what about you, man? Well, uh, I don't know what to say, honestly. Like, I'm not, I don't really watch G5 in general. And as far as I've seen this, well, it's sort of a meh, to be honest. All right, all right. right. But if there... If there is a holiday special that I would recommend, just to watch the make um, the G four special. There's two, and gonna be much better. Mm -hmm. right? What? No, didn't. I mean the wait, I forgot what's its name. Uh, Heart Saint? No, um, the 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 play. Make a wish. Yeah, make a wish. No. Uh, Crap! What's the name of that uh, holiday special? I forgot. The, I forgot the title. Um, Is it Equestria Girl? G four. I mean, no, the one that's uh, hearts uh, hearts warming. Hearts warming. Yeah, there's there's technically that one and the one with, uh, oh god, I forgot her name. Um, Spark. Not spark. Oh God! <laughs> uh, what was what is her name? Oh God! I'm forgetting her name. Best gift ever. Yeah, best, best gift. Best gift ever. And also, um, Twilight Sparta J. Hate mistress. Oh God! Uh, how why how did I forgot her name? Trixie's friend, Sunburst's girlfriend. Yes, Starlight Glimmer. Oh, no, Dorman, I really am getting worried for you now. I, I need to, I, I need to pick up some fan fictions and read it. I think you need to get some sleep. No, 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 sleep. Norman, just read my fan fiction. You'll be all good. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, uh, there's, there's always that one with the Scrooge analogy. Yeah, that one. That's fun. Oh yeah, that one too. I forgot yeah. about it. That one's fun. Anywho, um. Is that it, Jacob? Mm, yeah, oh, pretty much. And as for me, it's unoffensive, it's pretty fun, cute, and sweet. But like you guys said, it doesn't really bring up that conflict like how the previous episode, oh sorry, the previous sh seasons did uh, with Hearts and uh, with the play and also the Scrooge analogy and whatnot. It was, yeah, you, you had some oomph into that like we, we see that uh the play was kind of a history telling 
of how this holiday began uh, with the Scrooge thing. It was kind of a... I'm not 100% sure if that's history accurate or just a story, but at least it was a fascinating story and kind of pulled Starlight out of her convergent phase. And yeah, it, it was fun. But anywho, <clears throat> let's wrap things up. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Well, you can find me on Twitter, DeviantArt, and YouTube under MLP Silver Quill. If you search on YouTube, be sure to include Silver Quill after the fact. Otherwise, you get a news program, which might not be quite on the page you're looking to read. Uh, let's see, you can also find me on Equestria Daily, the weeks of new comics, as I will publish a review. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go do so, guys. And the comics are getting pretty interesting. I'm not 100%. Uh, not the most recent, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, boys, uh, man, that means you have to wait another month to get things spicy. Is it? Am I wrong? Mm, what? Well, I don't know if we need things to get spicy, but it would be nice to get to the climax of the current arc. <laughs> uh, boys. <clears throat> Anywho, Jacob, where can the good people find you? You can find me on DeviantArt under the username Yakafon Torka, but the Twitter username tells me the ashes. If you're interested in reading the story Term Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in medieval fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the talesoftheashes.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go do so, guys. And also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MPS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Uh, talking about exclusives, um, I've been... Uh, how do I put this? I've been sparing you guys from reviewing Ladybug because Ladybug is not for everyone. And I've been putting up exclusive reactions... <laughs> on the Patreons, where I get really, really emotional. Emotion? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, off the cuff, really, really... How do I put it? Silver, you remember how you reacted when you seen certain things of Ladybug? Well, like a dabbing Santa or freaky pink thing just getting all up in my grill or a guy dressing up in all leather and pressing himself against glass. I remember <laughs> yep, those things. Um, Jesse, Please don't put that imagery in my cat. <laughs> uh, just imagine um, that, but me instead, but going even more further, pointing out the stupid things certain character does. Like, what the hell do you need to do that? And certain things that... Okay. <clears throat> all right. Calm, calm down, calm down. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to, if you want to experience me, go, uh, go Donkey Kong. <laughs> Get over to the Patreons and uh, give give a dollar or something like that, and and you'll 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 you'll, you'll, you'll experience that. Also, on a side note, you. Uh, also get thank yous. It, uh, talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And I hope you really, really enjoy the content that's there. Anyway, I have been Roman Sanzo. I am Cecil the Quill. I'm Yaka. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Adios. Bye-bye. Oh, also, um, happy holidays and uh, merry wishy day. <laughs> merry wishy day. I wish people would let me say Merry <laughs> Christmas. Oh, uh, boys. Are, are they still doing that? Like, are they still being pedantic about that? 
Mm, I haven't heard so much argument over it this year, not compared to other years. It's just, it's just a holiday, guys. Just, uh, just be thankful that you guys have a day of not going to work or something like that, or, or in spending time with the family and friends. Mm-hmm.